trying to find the smell. Tonight, new information about how fire crews and officials raced to track down the source of that natural gas foul odor yesterday that spread all over the Queen City. Queen City News reporter Maureen Wirtz joins us now live outside one of the many fire stations that spent hours responding to calls yesterday morning. And Maureen, that smell, that is gone, but people are still talking about this. Yeah, Brian, you know, I spent a couple of hours this morning listening to recordings from dispatch. And as people called in from Noda, to South and even in Uptown, fire crews spent hours scrambling trying to find the source of the smell. It's a nice morning routine, stepping outside onto his front porch. But on Thursday... It was, like I said, it came out the door and then it just slapped you in the taste buds and you just you just felt it. Steve Adorno both felt and tasted the smell that had spread all over the city. If I had to say like a rotten egg smell, but it was a unique smell that I haven't smelled before. Starting around eight o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Another call saying that it's near the blue line. Fire crews were being sent all over Charlotte trying to find the source of the smell. We called Piedmont. They didn't know anything, and we haven't received a call back. Officials looking for answers from the National Weather Service. With the National Weather Service, they said there's a large probability that this is an inversion. Eventually, they tracked it down to Legacy Environmental Services off of Graham Street. Yeah, so it looks like we're chasing these uh, gas smells everywhere. Let's do uh, one and one on it. Company officials told us. Crews were taking apart tanks that held the chemical mercaptan, which is added to natural gas to make it smell. Fortunately, the smell is gone, just in time, too. I don't want y'all to get a bad rap as being like a smelly city either, so I'm glad it was addressed uh, quickly. So I spoke with company officials from Legacy Environmental Services, and they didn't answer any questions. But I did look up past EPA records, and they haven't had any violations. So a lot of people happy today that the smell is gone, and it wasn't as serious as it could have been. Live off of North Graham Street, Maureen Wirtz, Queen City News. Maureen, thank you so much. Absolutely. All right.